Hello YouTube, I just picked this up at Walmart yesterday. I have not even took it out and tried it or anything. Uh, hopefully we get to go fishing. Might not be till next week. Uh, I've not seen any videos on this, how to take it apart. There's very few videos on uh, taking some of these reels apart like this, these newer ones. There's, you can find the old, when I was a kid, 404s, but uh, one problem I had, we'll start out real quick. We want to make this long video, is getting this off, okay? It's plastic. And putting it on, a little trick I found, I found where the thread started. The thread starts down here at the bottom. I know I can't get close. Is to make sure when you're getting this on here, it just, it, you put a little grease on it. It's going on crooked. You know, stop and look. It's going on crooked right right on camera here. So all I can tell you is, is kind of fidget with it and find where the thread starts. And I don't want no grease on it right now. Never tighten these real tight. So say it bottomed out right here. I'm gonna I'm gonna back it up. I want, I want my 404 logo right there. It's on far enough because you get that gummed up or something, you're going to have a hard time getting that off. Looks pretty even. I mean, you get this on cricket, it still might be off a thread. I mean, it's plastic. Okay. Here's one reason I want to take it apart. I already know what's in there. It's clear silicone grease. Okay. We're going to put my Molly Graphite Grease. It's like a black grease. Uh, whether anybody tells me to or not, I use that in drill gears and everything. So, take this back off. Okay. If y'all don't know how to take this off, just be careful. I mean, I thought I was going to bust this thing. This is not a screw. It is a nut with a screwdriver head cap on it. So it looks like a screw. No, it's a, just a nut. It has plastic in it. I mean, you got to get a good grip on this. The first time. I'm not going to take this off. But you got to get a good grip on it. It was like... And I swear, and my handle came loose. I ain't kidding you. It, it's on a square slot, but the handle came loose. I had to tighten the screw back up. So we're not going to show that part right yet. We're going to show how to get this apart. Okay? This piece, all this silver comes out of the black. Okay, I kept poking at it and pulling it and prodding it and moving it around. And I would, and I fidgeted with this. I had to sleep on this. You see where I was frustrated of how this, how this comes apart, okay? I finally got it worked up like this. Can, can you see there's getting to be a gap in here? I hope you can. Sometimes I get too close up. See if you're getting a gap. Get, you can do this. Get a gap in. Here's what I found out the best way to do it. Right down here in this corner where it was catching. I just pushed in on it. See that? That was it. That was my whole problem. Is putting this thing together and getting it apart. Uh, there's your drag knob. That has to go in there first. Get it up in there. He's fitting it on camera. Here we go. We're going to go back together. You can do this. See that? That's what I want to do it live on camera. Show how frustrating I got. I said, first I pulled out this side a little bit. Got it, got wobble loose a little bit, pulled up a little bit, and I just gave it a good push. And I kept doing this in and out till this piece right here was actually chewing the plastic in here a little bit. So I've done this like half a dozen times. I kept, when I got it down right there, I kept chomp, chomp, chomp. So that's pretty thin stuff. You break it, super glue probably ain't gonna hold it together. And then maybe when you got the cover on, if you ever broke one, it'd probably hold together. Okay, we're going to pause before we show you the gears in here. Oh, got to take a breather. See how frustrating it was me to do this on camera? 
But I want to do it live to show you how frustrating it was. I hope you really paid attention or go back and slow down the film. Sometimes I yak too fast and go too fast. So let's take a break. Getting a lot of glare down here. We'll take a break, then we'll come back and we'll show you the gears and uh, what it sounds like, looks like, and then we're going to regrease it. So stay tuned. Okay, I hate making long videos because I know people don't like watching, but uh, this is mostly for people who've had these apart. I showed you how I got that loose, and I said I cranked them so hard I thought I was going to bust it. You're going to have that. There's slots in this washer. There's little things for slots. There's slots in here. You're going to take off your spool. Okay. Keep track of these. Which way the fiber does exactly? I've already had the part once. Then you got another washer. Sorry if I'm too cold. There's another washer. See it? There's another washer on this part. Okay. There's that. Okay. So you've all seen that. Now, these gears don't come out as easy as you think they do. Okay. So I'm going to pause again so I get it fidgeted, fidgeted one time and then we'll pull this gear out if it'll come out. So we want to see if it comes out first. This is our first time disassembling this. So that's why we're uh, taking little breaks till we figure it out so you don't have to watch me fight with it like I did getting the reel apart. Okay, there's only one way to get this part. Set flange. You know it ain't going to come out this way. It has got that way. The only way, if you ever want to take that, you'd have to take the spring off, and you can destroy them and mess them up. So we're not going to do that. So we're going to clean these gears out, okay? Can you see that piece down in that little silver thing right? Get my pointer. That's your anti-reverse little peg. See how it comes up and hits? I may not be close up. And then that's your clicker thing. If, if you flip over here, so you can... So, you, so it'll line out on its own without using the drag. That's what you're hearing there, that little plastic thing. Okay, we're just going to wash the gears. If you do anything when you buy one of these reels and you don't want to take it apart, at least put some, take the handle off, put some oil down in here. There, there is no grease in this shaft going through here. There, there is none. I, you could see it right here. I don't think there's any oil or grease in there. So... The best way to get oil, you might be able to put your little oil thing in, but take this off. We'll show you that this is not a screw, it's a nut. And believe me, it's slippery. I've got this slimy silicone grease on my hands now. And it's slippery. See? It's a nut. The square spot. And believe me, this this rock back. Look at the player. I thought I busted when went it went like, oh man, I busted. I mean, that's that's quite a bit of slop. But that's how stuff's made now. I mean, it's good enough for a ten dollar reel. I'm not gonna complain. At least take the handle off and get some oil down in there. Motor oil, anything, three, any kind of oil, because you know there's no, you know there's hardly any oil in that. Okay, y'all hear what it sounds like now. When I did it before, we'll pause again real quick so we can put the nut back on so you can hear it right close to the camera. Okay, I'm sure I spun it before, but so you probably heard the sound better before when I was spinning it. I hope I got it on film when I was doing that. We're going to flush this out. We're going to put some little bit different grease in here. So we'll be back again. Okay. Like I said this is my favorite grease. But if you look down in here. I can use this. This, like, this is just for basting uh, your meat. Your barbecues. When you want to inject your butter or whatever. If you look down in here on the gear. When I'm turning this. If, you, if I can see it. You'll see it swimming in grease. Now we're going to put it together and spin it again so you can see what it sounds like, the difference in it. It isn't so growly. And I just fleshed out like WD-40 penetrating spray. So all this is spray. Don't put no grease in these mechanisms and gum them up like you're in a reverse lever. No, I just put the grease on the gears. 
and we'll put some oil on here later on the handle but we did get some penetrating spray down in there so let's get this back together and then we'll spin it and see what it sounds like I hope it picks it up on camera okay this is take two on this it has a different sound but to me I know that silicone grease is waterproof but to me it's a lot freer spinner I said I've taken that old nasty grease out of old electric drills and put that molly it's it's just called a molly graphite grease black you find it out of parts stores people use it for assembly lube on stuff I mean I could find a tube somewhere it's just a black graphite with molly G and whatever additive There you go, I'll take some pictures. I mean, even, even, even if it's still growly, it's the grease that I wanted it, and you've seen how I took it apart. So I kept pressing on over and over, in and out, and actually chewed away the plastic a little bit. Because, well, that was pretty thin in there. You could break one of these really easy. So, thanks for watching. I hope it helped. Hope it didn't confuse you how fast I ripped it all apart. But I'm just so used to it, it's hard to do it slow. And then I also get nervous on camera when I'm doing stuff like that, too. So, uh, at least you've seen how I got it apart. So, thanks for watching. I'll give you a couple little quick pictures of it and one with it in the package. So, thanks again for watching.